Hello all and welcome to another edition of my vlog. Uh, this week I did a couple of different Zwift races and I will take you through those along with some highlight footage. Also you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a toque. That's because I am in my Zwift room and as mentioned previously there is no heat in here so I do get a little chilly when I'm working in here since I have been doing that lately uh, working from home like so many people and uh, yeah enjoy. So first up this week, I did an FTP test on Tuesday, kind of a faux FTP test because it only went for about 40 minutes. But um, yeah, it was one of the group rides on Tour of Watopia up Alp de Zwift. So, uh, you know, roughly a 17 kilometer ride with a thousand meters of vertical up the uh, highest climb in the virtual world of Zwift. And um, so I'll show you some of that footage. And then also on Thursday, I raced in the Koa Sports Warrior race and had a few uh, cool celebrity guests this week. Um, lots of you might know Lionel Sanders, who is, uh, I think he was a silver medalist at uh, Kona World Championships Ironman a few years ago, and he is just an animal on the bike. And Guillaume Boivin, who's on Israel Cycling Academy, he was in the race. Um, and then a lot of the normal heavy hitters from Zwift, Brett Boniface, Luke G, uh, yeah, big long list of people. So uh, definitely got spanked, but uh, I'll show you some of that footage and some of the live broadcast footage from Koa because they've been uh, getting into essentially broadcasting Zwift races on their channel. Um, and they're doing a pretty good job of it. They make it fairly entertaining for uh, the person watching. I mean, as entertaining as watching virtual avatars can be on bicycles. Um, but yeah, it's really cool what they've been up to. Um, definitely makes it feel more like a sport per se. Um, and yeah, and I mean, in the current situation, it's as close as you can get to uh, a real bike race. So uh, it's really kind of been filling that void of racing in my life. Thursday, I was in the Co Sports Warrior race and um, I'll jump to that footage right now along with a little bit of commentary, so over the coming months. So welcome along, Absolutely. three seconds to go. Let's rock and roll. He's 140. I saw an L Sanders uh, just pop up there with a Canadian flag. So I'm just gonna keep half an eye on that one. See if well, we can't work that one up. That would be, uh, that would be something special, on, uh, wouldn't it? And um, we've got Vivine in there too, Tim. He's a big, big hitter, professional athlete and uh, a grand tour rider. And uh, this, we've got Gilbert in there. 140 athletes started this one, so. So in the first few minutes of the race, my legs just felt tired from the Tuesday FTP test, which I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised with because it was a pretty hard effort. Um, but as the race went on, I started to feel a, a little bit better. Unbelievable. And a uh, little shout out to a Canadian athlete still in this bunch. Have, there he is right there now, B Bickley, um, pushing a lazy 205 beats a minute at the moment. Here we go again. Here we go, two, two seconds. So they, they have managed to reel him back in. Let's see how many matches he's burned in that process. Still holding mid 500 watts, 175 beats per minute as the train starts to roll. Going up the last climb, my foot popped out of my, uh, my pedal and I had to get it back in. It took me like two seconds, but um, kind of took the air out of my tires as I was trying to cover the move that Sanders was making up the road. This Lionel Sanders plays the draft bus, so he won't have a power up now in the finish. He'll Lionel's go just gonna it. go to the line here, I reckon. Here's that early attack, Greg. Yeah, so Lionel now 9.1 watts a kilo and says, come with me boys if you can, but he will be no doubt the most marked rider in this field. He's, he's only got about a K and a half to go, so we'll see if he can hold him off. Because will they sweep him up? And that's what it's all about. Of course, Lionel would be doing this, of course, for training effect as well. So just holding an, an epic three to four minute effort to finish. Can he crank it up to a thousand watts? I'm not so sure, but I definitely know some of the riders in, in this backpack here certainly can. And so Boniface now, eight watts a kilo. He's eight seconds back. He's a genuine Zwift contender. I had to keep my sprint until the last 200 because I was just so gassed. I mean, the pace had been um, up there in the high, you know, mid high 300s just the whole time, even to sit in the front group. I waited till the last 200 and I, I kind of emptied the tank in my sprint. I think I only hit like a thousand watts, maybe a little bit less. Lionel's out 8.3 watts a kilo. He's out to eight seconds. Can they bring him back? We've got Giuliano now, Boniface, 11 watts a kilo. They're coming up to the line. Lionel's still pushing it off the front. Here comes Gilbert, five seconds, four seconds. Here comes Gilbert coming through at 12 and a half watts a kilo. He's chasing him down. Can he get him? He's gonna roll up to him on the line. Here comes Gilbert over the top and takes the chocolates straight over Lionel Sanders. What an event, Tim. What an amazing effort from Gilbert. We've never seen a Colour Sports Warrior race as exciting as that. Eight seconds with 
with 500 meters to go. It comes 20th overall. Um, yeah, but it's just, it's great fun just racing with uh, that high caliber of, of athletes. Um, even if it isn't, you know, real racing, uh, it kind of shows you the confidence that they have when they make a move. Um, i.e. Sanders and, and Boy Van both made really decisive moves in that race. And um, yeah, it's just, it's what you have to do if you want to be a great athlete is you have to be able to commit and go all in on a move when you know that, uh, you know, for example, maybe your, your five second power isn't up there with, with some of the top sprinters. Well, you're going to have to make your move a little bit earlier. And so, um, yeah, it's just, um, it's just interesting to watch those guys race. So I'm going to cut right now straight to my Tuesday FTP test up out the Zwift. Uh, I did a little preamble uh, on the bike, so you'll hear that. And um, yeah, the rest of it will just be highlights. Hey guys, so uh, today I am riding up out the Zwift. So it's kind of going to be like that full FTP test. I'm going to hold like 4.6 watts kilo or something like that. So we'll see how it goes. watts of alp um so i was super pleased with that i mean i weighed in uh this morning at about 78.2 kilos so i think that's just a hair under five watts a kilo uh for 40 minutes i will be racing co sports warrior race every week now just because uh, it seems to be one of the highlights of the week of racing for me uh just with the caliber of competition and uh and everything else so uh yeah stay tuned and i hope you're enjoying <laughs>